What's going on guys? Corey from Lion Dads. I help my fellow dads get back in shape and get healthy with a carnivore diet and back to basics exercise. So in today's video, I kind of just want to go over quickly uh, the actual cost of a carnivore diet kind of and ask, you know, is it more expensive than other diets? You know, how you can eat cheaper on this diet and ultimately what's the cost of not doing a carnivore diet but you know as always before we get into it I want you guys to hit like hit subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment down below let me know if some of the, these are some of the concerns you guys might have or you know just your overall experiences in general so back to the subject at hand um, eating you know expense wise on the carnivore diet first question people always ask me uh, when they want help is, can I afford this diet? Is it expensive? You know, and that was one of my first concerns going into it. And it's ultimately what a lot of people's biggest concern is. So, you know, my, my experience is it does cost money to eat this diet, just like anything else, you know, and there's certain circumstances where you've seen the price of meats and stuff like that going up, the price of eggs and stuff like that going up. They've gone up a little bit since I've started this diet, and it's just something I've had to adjust to. And ultimately, I do find this diet to be pretty affordable, and there's certain ways you can get around the way some of this stuff costs. I'll, I'll talk more about that after a while. But I'll, when I think about it, you know, yeah, I'm buying a lot of meat. And yeah, I'm eating a lot of meat, you know, and it does cost money. But I'm not buying junk food, you know. I'm not buying snacks. I'm not buying chips. I'm not buying popcorn. I'm not buying ice cream. I'm not buying fruits. I'm not buying vegetables. You know, I'm not buying these inferior quality foods that ultimately I eat a ton of, you know. I'm not sitting here snacking all day on crap that I don't need. And that's what a lot of people do, you know what I mean? And yeah, some of those items, they're, they make them a little cheaper. It's crazy how the unhealthier items are it's always seem to be some of the cheaper stuff. But still, you're not buying all that stuff and sitting and housing a bag of chips in one sitting. And stuff like that and those things do add up I also don't eat sides with my meals you know when I sit down and I eat a ribeye I'm eating a big old juicy ribeye that's it you know I'm cooking ground beef I'm eating about a pound pound and a half of ground beef in the sitting that's it you know there's no sides on my meal and when you go out to eat you don't really have to worry about eating the sides and stuff and unfortunately those things come with the meal so I do recommend kind of trying to cook at home more and you'll save a lot of money if you do it that way so another thing you can do on this diet is just look for deals you know what I mean get in the store and look around find out what's on sale get in your paper get online you know people used to be into the couponing crap really big and you guys can get into that a little bit and you can start kind of looking into those things and finding deals in your area and find those things that you can get at a lower cost you know i know in my supermarket they have a rack of meats they have steaks pork chops and other things like that in there and those things are cheaper you know they're coming up on their sell by date which is not an expiration date it's a sell by date and you can get those sometimes 30 40 percent off take them home cook them up that night it's not a big deal you can find ways to make this diet affordable so leading into that from that is uh you know what are some ways to eat a little cheaper and like i just said one of the biggest things i do is i look for deals you know, other things you can do, you can buy more inexpensive cuts of meat. I know when you get online and you get on Twitter and you get on some of these sites and you see the carnivore experts, these dudes are sitting eating like two ribeyes a day, you know, they're eating prime rib, they're eating all this awesome stuff. And it, that stuff's really not necessary, man. There's ways to get creative. You can buy cheaper leaner cuts of steak and add some butter to it one delicious it's phenomenal cooking your steaks in butter or your ground beef or whatever 
And two, you're getting as much fat from that as you would have been from the fat of your ribeye. You know what I mean? You can find creative ways to kind of get different cuts of meat that aren't necessarily as expensive and eat them. Uh, another thing you'll find, I know I got to do a video on this soon, but, you know, eating organs, they're cheaper because no one wants to eat them, man. And so if you're a person who doesn't mind eating them and who tolerates organs just fine, you know, if you can tolerate the taste and all that kind of stuff, organs are a great quality, more inexpensive way to eat on a carnivore diet because not a lot of people's eating that stuff. Honestly, how many people these days are eating liver? You know what I mean? You can get that stuff and you can eat it. You can grind it up, mix it in with your ground beef. You won't even taste it. It makes your stuff just that much cheaper and a little healthier too. So, you know, there's a lot of great nutrient quality in organs. And I'll do a whole nother video on that coming up pretty soon. Um, but, you know, that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is just find the inexpensive, more processed variants of a carnivore diet. Just, you know, be careful with some of the ingredients and stuff. Uh, you can go get your hot dogs, you know, make sure they're good quality hot dogs, not a lot of additives and stuff. <laughs> they're typically technically nose to tail in there too. They throw a lot of stuff in those. So uh, you can get your canned tunas, canned chickens, things like that. There's a lot of different things you can do with those. Everybody knows there's a ton of things you can do with canned chicken, canned tuna, things like that. Uh, another thing you can do is get a rotisserie chicken and just tear up a rotisserie chicken once in a while. They're five bucks at the stores around me. I don't know what they are where you guys live, but I know I can go to the store and I can get a rotisserie chicken for $4.99. Um, when it comes to those, the highest quality, the best tasting ones that I have found, and I know I've asked about them at the place and they don't add any, they don't coat them in any crap or anything like that is like your Sam's clubs and Costco's. <clears throat> if you can go there, you can get like kick ass deals on rotisserie chickens and theirs are delicious. I know when I go to like my supermarket by me, they're like soggy and the skin's real rubbery and stuff. I get the rotisserie from Sam's club or Costco and they're like, crispy skin juicy big thick chicken they're out they're really good so you know those are just some cheaper ways you can find some of your foods there so one of the biggest things that i bring up when people ask me you know the cost of eating a carnivore diet how much it kind of costs is let's turn this around what's the cost of not eating a carnivore diet you know let's let's talk about your future a little bit and come up with you know, what happens when you're, if your diet's crap, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I can't afford it. So I'm going to eat cheaper processed foods. I'm going to eat my breakfast cereal in the morning. I'm going to eat bags of chips. I'm going to eat sliced bread. I'm going to eat these kind of things. You know, what does that stuff kind of cost as time goes on? You know, not only does that stuff still, it still costs money to eat that way, but the cost on your health, you know, you think about, a lot of that stuff leads to obesity and leads to health issues. You, you can get diabetes that way. You know, you can get all kinds of different inflammatory issues, circulation problems, not to mention, you know, the, the big time weight gain. And now you're trying to buy ways to get, you know, in better shape and things like that. Um, people don't think about that stuff. You know, not until it's too late anyway. And I can sit here and listen to you guys all day. Yeah, but, you know, if I go and I just buy vegetables and I buy fruit, come, give, me a, give me a fucking break. You guys aren't buying that shit. When people turn around and they're like, oh, I don't want to eat carnivore. I need to get all these other things in. Those people are not just going and eating broccoli and potatoes, sweet potatoes and all this stuff. Nine times out of 10, those people are eating chips and they're eating ice cream and they're eating all this other trash and they're trying to shame us, you know, me or other carnivores for our way of eating because we don't eat our vegetables. But, you know, honestly, nine times out of 10, neither are they, you know, not in the form that they act like they're eating it. You know, most people are out there, they're eating processed garbage. They're eating macaroni and cheese, instant mashed potatoes. They're eating all the processed shit, pastas and stuff like that. 
So I don't want to hear it from people who try to tell me that I'm not getting the vegetables and things like that because neither are most of them. And all that stuff's going to catch up to those people. And if you're in that category, you know, I'm sorry. I don't want to, you know, shame you for the way you eat or anything, but it's just the reality of it. You know, people need to check themselves and ask, am I really practicing what I preach? And what's that going to add up to in the future? I'm going to have to pay for the medical care. I'm going to have to pay for the medical equipment that gets used on me. There's going to be a cost on my family when I'm unhealthy and I'm in bad shape and I can't go play ball with my kids and grandkids and things like that. And they're going to have to care for me when I'm old and I'm fat and I'm fucked up basically, right? So you have to kind of just ask yourself, what's it worth to you? You know, is it worth your health or, you know, is it worth the money? What's it going to be? You know, do you have a choice? Like, do I turn this thing around? Do I maybe spend a little more? And it's really probably not going to be much, if at all. Maybe it breaks even. Maybe it goes a little over. But I can live a fulfilling, healthy, pain-free life, you know, looking good, feeling good, doing all the things I want to do, going into my 60s, which is my goal, and having grandkids that can't keep up with me. You know, that's the thing. That's what's worth to me. That's what's worth this diet to me. So when I sit down and I'm eating my meat and I'm eating like I'm eating a steak or something and someone shames me for not having a side of potato or broccoli or whatever, you know, the loaded baked potato that everybody gets. Oh, you need to eat a potato. And it's in the future. I'm going to be better than you. That's just the way I feel, you know, the way I look at it. I'm in the future when I'm 65, 70 years old. Guess what, man? I'm going to be better. So that's what's worth to me. And that's why ultimately I'm just willing to, if I have to, pay a little more to eat this way so that when it comes time in the future and I'm looking at all the people around me, my peers now, who's on top? You know, who's going to be in better shape? I honestly really, really feel and think that. It's going to be me and people like me, people who made the jump to really taking care of their nutrition and putting the right things in their body and getting rid of all the foods that cause the pain and inflammation and obesity and things like that. So rant over (laughs) that shit about do it for today. You know, as always, there's links to Twitter and Facebook, my social media stuff down in the description of the video. Also, uh, go on over to lion-dads.com. There's a link down there to that as well, and you can get a hold of me on there, or you can just kind of learn more about Lion Dads and what I do here. Um, You can click on the link that's there at the top of the website and join our online community, get access to the Discord server where I kind of go over all kinds of different ways you can level up as a dad, not just with diet and fitness. We're talking raising kids, marriage you know, career progression, entrepreneurship, all that stuff. And you can also down there find a link to Calendly and that's where you can book a free call with me, help get you started taking back your health and fitness. So that's all I got. I'll catch all you guys in the next one. Later.